I'm thinking like, I couldn't have done anything other than just prevent him from getting the ball, but. But you know what was crazy? Was like when we would watch the film afterwards, we were just we would just laugh. You're just like, what? Like him shooting left-handed shots, him calling out plays as our coach is calling out plays. Like these are things that we could see on film where you're just like, what, how? Like, how does he do it? You know how he does it. But at that attention to detail, it's not weird, it's next level. He was the best player I played against. Oh. And, and, and I say this respectfully with Jordan, I didn't guard Jordan. Pippen mm -hmm. and I matched up. Yeah. But the, the best player that I, I played against, hands down, was Kobe. They call him the Black Mamba? I mean, man, deadly. He was just, to me, <laughs> one of the greatest ball players I've ever seen to be play basketball. His quickness and agility and ability to get his jump shot off from anywhere, you had to respect that. He, he, he was an issue for the defense. Well, I think the Black Mamba is appropriate. He makes shots with guys draped all over him, you know, falling down, left hand or right hand. I just, you know, witnessed him doing some amazing things. What's good, everyone? It's your boy Dubs, and I'm back at it with another banger. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button as we are getting close to our goal of 17K subs. Hit the little bell icon, switch it to all so you don't miss out on any more content, and smash that like button. Let's try to get the video up to at least 24 likes in honor of Kobe. I've looked all around the community, and I'm not going to lie to you, it breaks my heart because y'all know Kobe Bryant is going to be forever my GOAT. Rest in peace to the GOAT. Rest in peace to GG. I had to get this build right, so I spent hours upon hours getting every little last detail right for this build, and I'm going to explain everything to you guys so that way you can make the right Kobe Bryant build the first time. And for all you sticklers out there, you're even going to get the shades of Kobe Bryant in this build too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the vid. As always, it doesn't matter if you go right or left handed, I went right handed. Jersey number, we're going to go 24 in honor of Kobe. Give you guys a little bit of a pro tip. If you want to use the jersey number 24 in the rec, you have to play for an NBA team where someone on that team doesn't have the jersey number 24. Pick the Miami Heat if you don't really care about my career. You can just thank me later. Position, we're going to go shooting guard. Height, 6'6". Six, six. Weight is going to be 213. Wingspan, we're going to leave at the 6'11". Close shot is going up to a 62. Driving layup is going up to a 70. Driving dunk is going up to an 87. Standing dunk, you're going to leave at 32. Post control goes up to an 85. Mid range shot goes up to a 92. Three pointer goes up to an 80. Free throw goes up to an 80. Pass accuracy goes up to a 70. Ball handle goes up to an 87. Speed with ball goes up to an 80. Interior defense goes up to a 60. Perimeter defense goes up to an 85. Steel goes up to a 60. Your speed goes up to an 83. Acceleration goes up to an 80. Strength goes up to a 79. Vert goes up to a 75, and then the rest goes into your stam. And let's go ahead and break this down. 70 driving layup is only so we get bronze fearless finisher. I don't really care about really anything else having to do with layups. This is gonna be so when you go in for a dunk and it does get converted into a layup, you have a chance of making it instead of just smoking it. Now with the 87 driving dunk, I understand that's not the 89, so you're not gonna get the off one and I understand it's not 90, so you're not getting gold precision dunker. But this is so you can at least get some contact dunk animations because you will get the one off twos. And then you get a lot of really, really decent dunk packages. And you're going to get some contact dunks as far as like off alley oops too. So can't really go wrong with an 87. 32 standing dunk. It is what it is. You're not going for standing dunks. Post control is the highlight because we get our gold dream shake, gold drop stepper, gold post spin. Just like on my 7 foot build and we get hall of fame post play phenom there's no way you can tell me you have an accurate kobe bryant build and you don't have hall of fame post fade phenom kobe literally lived in the post when he wasn't just attacking off the dribble so i don't understand how people are making this kobe bryant build that doesn't have this badge it's literally like a smack in the face to me you getting is a 92 mid-range shot which is going to give you access to hall of fame mini magician and guard up 
Now, if you don't want to be someone who's in the post and you want to just go and take a nice little space creator type shot in the mid range, now you have Hall of Fame Mini Magician. You're pretty much going to green everything because you got gold green machine as well. Now, this nice little combination of 92 mid range and 83 ball is going to pair out really well because with this 92 mid range, you're going to get access to the Kobe Bryant base, which a lot of people don't have at 6'6. So, with that being said, thank me later for that one. It's a real Kobe Bryant build. And you're going to be completely fine with the 83 ball. We all know that that's cash money. 80 free throw, so that way you ain't going to miss nothing ever because you got silver free points. 70 pass accuracy. Now, I have seen people talk about it, um, dropping it all the way down to a 63. I'm personally never going to do that. I'm not going to play a fire that much. But 70 is a nice little sweet spot because you still get your special delivery. And you can go ahead and get bronze dimer as well so you can help out your teammates. 87 ball handle though is where this really shines at because you could go up to an 88 but 88 just gets you Kobe Bryant dribble moves which depending on who you are it's not the end of the world so 87 is a nice little sweet spot because you get silver killer combos and we're getting the 80 speed with ball not going into the debate about acceleration and speed with ball we play it safe around here plus we want our gold triple strike because it's an accurate Kobe build and what type of person can't hit triple threat jukes and stuff like that if you're not having this on goal you're gonna be all extra slow we're not doing that 60 interior defense believe it or not i'll go ahead and show you guys a clip you can get blocks on this game without having blocks because you need to read the little descriptions more carefully interior defense determines the ability for the player to defend the paint both on and off the ball as well as contest shots near the rim so by having my interior defense even on a 60 when people are trying to go ahead and, you know, lay the ball up and things like that, especially people who are my height, at least I have a chance inside the paint just by jumping up with them. Now, I get it. It's a 60 interior defense, but we have 79 strength as well to pair with it, which gives us our bronze and movable enforcer, which is going to make it really hard for them to score on you like that. Now, I'm not saying you're going to stop a pure slasher, but this is at least giving you more of a chance than not having any interior defense at all. 85 perimeter though, so we can go ahead and do our thing out there on the perimeter. 60 still, just so we can get bronze interceptor. 83 speed, 80 acceleration, 79 strength, so we got, like I said, our immovable enforcer, but we get silver back down punisher, and we get gold physical handles plus bronze bulldozer. This is going to pretty much help us since we don't have gold unpluckable. People aren't going to be able to go ahead and bully us as much out there on the paint, especially if they end up doing something to steals or buffing and pluckable all together this is just going to be an extra little bonus plus we get bronze bulldozer so if we ever need to get downhill we can go ahead and do that on smaller people got gold area wizard because like i said you're going to be able to go ahead and get not only just the contact dunks off too but you'll get um alley-oop contact dunks as well 95 stam to go ahead and round up the build and if you made the build correctly you should get shades of jalen brown kobe bryant and devin booker for a shot creating three level threat. This is probably the most accurate Kobe Bryant build in all of YouTube and literally the whole 2K community. I haven't seen anybody get a build this down to the T perfect as far as gameplay wise for the game. What you wanna do as far as if you wanna really play like Kobe Bryant, I'm talking about if you're a competitive player and you wanna play Kobe, or if you are just a casual player and you wanna play like Kobe. This is the perfect Kobe Bryant build, but hey, if you're new to this channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that sub button. Hit the little bell icon so that you all see them on any more content. And like I tell everyone, smash the like button. We need to go ahead and get this video shared out to more people, and I can't do it without y'all help. And if you guys ever want to catch me live, I do live stream every single day over on Twitch. And with NBA 2K24 being out, I need people to run with. That's clear as day. If you got the skills and you just want to have some fun too, Make sure to go ahead and come on over to Twitch. Let's go ahead and play. Or if you want to just vibe with us, check out the live stream. Link will be down in the description. Because until later on, y'all, well, you can definitely catch me in the live stream. It's been your boy, Dubs. And I love you guys as always. Once again, man, be on the lookout for more Kobe Bryant content coming in the future. Rest in peace to the GOAT. Rest in peace, GG. Until later, y'all. Peace.